Welcome to your flipped lesson 6.2. Today we are going to be looking at generating equivalent fractions and we are going to be looking at models in order to do this. So down here under our central question it says how can you use multiplication to find equivalent fractions? And we know that equivalent fractions are two fractions that are essentially the same. So the word equivalent means that they are equal. So our first problem underneath unlock the problem it says Sarah needs a three quarters cup of dish soap to make homemade bubble solution her measuring cup is divided into eighths what fraction of the measuring cup should Sarah fill with dish soap okay so we're going to underline what we need to find which is what fraction of the measuring cup should Sarah fill with dish soap our clues that we're going to use are we know that she needs three quarter cup and her cup is divided into eighths, okay? So then if we jump down underneath how to find out of eighths, how many eighths are in three quarters, we're going to compare two models. So we have a model that's broken into fourths and we have a model that's broken into eighths, okay? In order to find out the equivalency here, we're gonna take a look at the three quarter cup and it says step one, compare fourths and eighths shade to model one fourth. So if I'm gonna color one part, I'm just gonna shade in one section of this model that's been broken into fourths, okay? So this is one fourth, all right? Then I'm gonna shade the parts of the eighths that would be equivalent to one fourth. And that's actually gonna be two parts. So I'm gonna color in two sections of the model that is broken into eights, okay? So then, if we look at these two, we know that we need two eighths, so two eighths size parts to make one fourth size part. So we need two eighth size to make one fourth, okay? Step two, find how many eighths you need to make three fourths. Well, we're gonna shade the model three fourths. So fourth size parts, we're gonna shade three sections. So three sections shaded is going to be equal to three fourths, okay? And then when we look over at the eights, we know that we're gonna to have to color six parts in order for it to be equivalent. So we're gonna color six sections out of the eight and then if we look here, it says you needed two eight size parts to make one fourth. That was here. So you need six eight size parts to make four size parts. So Sarah should fill six eighths of the measuring cup with dish soap. So three quarter cup, six eighths is going to be the equivalence, equivalency. Six eighths is going to be the equivalency of three fourths. Okay? So, is an eighth size part of a measuring cup bigger or smaller than a fourth size part? Well, if we look at our models, obviously an eighth is smaller. So, smaller would be the answer there. Okay? Down underneath the unlock the problem box, it says explain why six eighth size parts is the same amount as three fourth size parts. Okay? Essentially, there are two eighth size parts in each fourth. So, there's two eighths in each fourth, all right? So three times two equals six. Three times the equivalent is six. So there are two eighth size parts in each fourth size part, and if we use multiplication, we know that three times two equals six, okay? Go ahead and flip to the next page. There's an example that we're gonna go through, and it says, write four fractions that are equivalent to one half, okay? So our first half, we know that two fourths is equivalent. Whatever we do to the top of a fraction, we're gonna to do to the bottom. Whatever we do to the bottom, we're gonna to do to the top. 
So if we multiply the bottom by 2, we're going to multiply the top by 2. Okay? Same thing here, and then we can always refer back to the model. We have 1 half. If we break it into 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we shade half of it, that's 3 parts. Okay? We know that 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. So 3, 6 would be equivalent to 1 half. Okay? 1 half, if we break it into 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8. We're going to multiply 2 times 4 to get 8. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay? Here, if we decide we're going to break it into tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is half of 10. So 1 half equals 5 tenths. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. So 5 tenths is also equivalent to 1 half. Okay? So 1 half equals 2 fourths, 3 sixths, 4 eighths, and 5 tenths. Okay? Look at the model that shows 1 half equals 3 sixths. How does the number of parts in the whole affect the number of parts that are shaded. Explain. Okay, so the whole, the whole in 3, 6 is divided into 3 times as many parts. So that means there's going to be three times as many parts shaded. Okay? Essentially, that's what we multiply by. We multiply the two times three, so three times the parts, and then we multiply one times three. Whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Explain how you can use multiplication to write a fraction that is equivalent to three-fifths. Okay? In three-fifths, so in three-fifths, the whole is divided into five parts, okay? The whole is divided into five parts. All right, if we would decide that the whole is divided into ten parts, so essentially three over five, we're going to multiply five times 2 gives us 10. 3 times 2 is 6. So our equivalent fraction would be 6 tenths. Okay? Are 2 thirds and 6 eighths equivalent? Explain. No, they are not. Okay? We know this because 3 and 8, 3 does not have a relationship with 8. It means 3 will not go into 8 evenly. We can't multiply anything by 3 to get 8. Okay? So, essentially, you cannot multiply the numerator and denominator of two-thirds by the same factor to get 6 eighths, okay? There's not a number that we can use that we want to buy both of them by in order to get 6 eighths, okay? Go ahead and flip to page 335. On page 335, you're going to complete the share and show. You're going to start with number one, looking at the models, and then interpreting what the equivalent fractions are. Then move down, you're going to complete number two and number three, the checked ones.